Botafogo makes history in the Libertadores by beating Universitario in Peru. That takes the team from last place into a second place, tied for first with Junior Barranquilla, which will be Botafogo's next opponent in the Libertadores. Welcome to Glorious Botafogo, your number one source of Botafogo news in English. Botafogo is tied in first place with Junior Barranquilla in the Libertadores after eliminating both Universitario and Liga de Quito in one match. The goal was scored by Jeffinho at the midway throughout the second half, closer to the end in a match where once again the club sort of had a a weak first half and then came back better in the second half. Universitario had a lot of chances, but their accuracy just was not there. The goal came after John cleared the ball. The defender from Universitario kind of missed the clearance. He, he had a very poor clearance. It landed on Savarino's feet, had a great assist to Jafinho, took it all the way inside the box and scored for Botafogo. There's some highlights of this game. There are some other players apart from Jeffinho that did well. Bastos, for example, he broke some records off the competition. He had eight interceptions in one match. I think the previous record was five in one match. So Bastos had eight. He has been in incredible form. I think under um, the tutelage of Arthur Jorge, Bastos just became a different player. He's just such a good defender on the left side. And with the rumors of Adrielson returning, we could have Adrielson and Bastos, and that would just be crazy good. You guys remember, and if you don't, if you're a fan from overseas and you can't watch all the matches, Adrielson was monumental. He was a big part of Botafogo's incredible run in the first half of the last season. So if Adrielson would come back and repeat his performances from last year, Alongside Bastos, I think that would be awesome. It would be amazing. We're also seeing the resurgence of Marlon Freitas as a leader. Marlon Freitas was almost tossed aside in the trash by Botafogo fans due to some of the things that he did last year. I think Marlon Freitas is doing very well. He's, he's become a leader in the dressing room. And that is very, very important. After the historic performance, heroic performance, the players earned two days of rest. Arthur Jorge said they can rest until Sunday. And that's when the team will return. Chiquinho Suarez and Botafogo are negotiating a renewal. The club did not offer the promised increase in the salary, however. So... There's a little bit of a stalemate right there because the, the player's agent wants the 20%, uh, 25% increase in Chiquinho's salary. And I say, give it to the man. Chiquinho was so important last year. Um, yes, he missed the penalty. Yes, there was some matches where he just didn't perform. He missed a lot of penalties altogether last year. And, and the fans weren't really trusting him when it came to that. But Chiquinho was so important. And let's not forget, he got player of the month like the first four or five months in a row. So I think Chiquinho deserves it. He really does. So I don't know what is happening with this. I don't know what the the reasoning is here by not offering the promised um, increase in salary. But if they promise, they need, they need to honor the promise and go ahead and give the man his raise. Rafael had to undergo yet another surgery. Rafael did a procedure to his left knee that helped him recover from a right knee uh, injury before. It, it kind of sort of glued the bone, I, I believe is what they said. Um, he's recovering for that patellar injury, so I think they, they're going to glue it. I don't know exactly how all of that works or all of that entails, but it's yet another surgery for Rafa, and he won't return until Four weeks or now, so about a month is um, the time frame that he's going to be out from this new surgery. Botafogo and Grêmio are negotiating a switch in home and away matches. Botafogo was supposed to travel to Rio Grande do Sul on June 1st to play Grêmio, but 
due to all the flooding and all the tragic events that happened in Rio Grande do Sul, now it looks like Grêmio is going to go to Botafogo. At, it's going to play at the Newton Santos June 1st, and then Botafogo on the second leg of the tournament will travel down to Rio Grande do Sul. You can, you can still see pictures of both Internacional and Grêmio Stadium. I haven't seen Juventude's pictures yet, but I've seen Inter and Grêmio Stadium, and they're not ready. They're not even close to being ready. As a matter of fact, Internacional is saying that there might be a total loss at their training, at their training center, a total loss. That is just millions upon millions of highs. So I don't know what the the route is. I don't know what the possibilities are from here. But man, I, I do feel for for the Gaúchos. They're, it's just, it really is awful. And my thoughts and all prayers and, and all the positive vibes, anything that I can send positive down there, um, I I am sending it. I hope um, they can get on their feet quickly. However, however, however long it takes, or however long that takes, I don't know. The Brasileirão was paused for two weeks, so there's no more matches, which is good for Botafogo and it's good for the Gaúchos as well. Arthur Jorge is finally going to have some time to work. You know, there's not two matches. Botafogo is going to play the Copa do Brasil match next week. They're going to have another week break and play the Libertadores and then another week break and then they play Grêmio. So Arthur Jorge is going to have some time to iron out the 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 things that he has to take care of, the things that he's not so happy with. If you haven't dropped a like and a subscribe, please do. It really helps the channel. You know, I don't like to say it a lot because I get it. It's kind of annoying, but it really does help. So click that like button and subscribe if you haven't. A majority of you, a majority, a vast majority of you are subscribed. So thank you very much. But if you're not, if you're not subscribed yet, please hit that sub button. I will bring more news throughout the week. It, I don't know how I was about to say it's going to be a slow week, but maybe it won't be a slow week. Who knows what's going to happen? This ever-changing world that is the world of football, anything can happen. So if something else major comes up, I will record a video. Or if there's any updates on other things like Chiquinho's um, renewal or Rafael's surgery, uh, their Jeffinho's possible injury, I will bring that in a uh, another video in the next video. So that is the end. Again, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, do all that stuff, and I'll see you on the next video.